once a month, a group of Palestinian kids make their way over from Nablus in the Palestinian territories and into Israel. At the same time, Israeli children arrive to the same destination so the two groups can play and interact using the international language of soccer. This project actually is one of many other projects we got, but the base is the same base. It's Twin Peace Soccer Schools, two different communities. One is Arabic, of course, and one is Jewish. When they play, they play always together, mixed teams, not one against each other, they're playing together. Anwar Zidane was born in Ramallah. Today, a father of four, he lives in an Arab village inside Israel. One of his life missions was to bring together children from both sides to play and connect as kids, no matter where they come from. What we're doing in this project is very unique because we are giving the children the chance to meet as uh, uh, human beings and uh, to learn about each other. We are giving them a platform uh, to, uh, through soccer because all of them like soccer, love soccer. They learn about the culture, they learn about the habits, they learn about the language of the other side and they find a lot of common things that bring them together, not uh, separating the, them from each other. Often the coaches allow the kids to play what is referred to as fair play, a game in which the kids make up their own rules, hence pushing them to communicate and find common ground. During the training, they're actually learning the other language, they're uh, learning the other uh, cultural thing. What we're trying to do when we bring them all together once per month is to take what they actually learn and involve this in the soccer field. And when they should try to say, hey, pass me the ball, they say this in the Arab language or in Hebrew language. And just to trying to score a goal, they show us and everybody else just actually people to people can bring peace. Uri Nagli is 11 years old. He comes from Kochav Yair to play on the team. I was afraid at first that they wouldn't understand me, and then with time it became easier. And it's fun to get to know people whom you don't know. In the start, in the, both of the kids coming with lots of negative issues and negative thoughts because they never met the other side. But when they actually meet each other and they need to pass the ball to score a goal or to defend on their goalie, they found themselves really similar. And when we add to these cultural activities and they found both of them like to play in PlayStation and they like pizza and both of them like to help their mother in the kitchen, they found themselves really similar. Mohammed Nasser is a defender on the team. It takes him and his friends three hours to arrive from his Palestinian village through the crossing and over to the field here in Israel. But he says he loves every bit of it. It takes time to arrive here and it's difficult, but once we begin playing we forget about everything else. Soccer is the language of the people and when we are on the court we get along. The kids are really nice. When we play together and when we are on one team, we all play for the same goal. Though some parents and adults hesitated about the initiative, those who chose to participate feel it is an educational experience for their children. My son likes to uh, interact with, uh, with people he doesn't know, just in general. I'm happy that my son is playing with a Palestinian it's a, a chance to, to see them, to meet them, to know them. The Palestinian parents are telling, maybe if we had this chance to meet, to meet Israelis, to meet Jewish uh, boys as human beings, to have fun together, to learn about each other, maybe the conflict uh, now will be different. And they want the, their children to have this great opportunity. At the end of the three-hour practice, the Palestinian kids return to Nablus and its surrounding villages. The Israelis are prohibited from entering the Palestinian territory, and so continuation of the newly founded friendships take place on social media platforms.
Facebook for them is a great opportunity and there they chatting and really everything. You just need to follow this and do likes for everything because it's really other lives there. But here the idea is actually to open the eyes of the kids and show them not to afraid from the other side. And in that way they actually believe in the future they can be friends of everybody if it's in the Palestinian territory, if it's in other of our neighbors here in the area in the Middle East. Through the activities we are doing them, helping them, we'll break on the stereotypes, we break them down. For sure it will make a change in him, in, in the boy uh, himself and also in his family and in the bigger circle in the society. It's the only hope for them. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel. Oh,